Next step, got the oil pickup tube. Got the new gasket on there. And uh, just gonna set it up in place. Hey, Tuts. Just like that. It's a bolt, it's a 13 millimeter bolt and uh, goes to 12 foot pounds. That's it. Okay, we have the lower oil pan uh, from the factory. They were just put on with uh, RTV. There's no gasket for it or anything. Um, looking back at this hindsight, um, I could have actually just kept the lower oil pan mated with the upper um, and avoided having to even do this step because I could have just taken the upper bolts out, dropped them as one piece. But it uh, doesn't matter. We'll uh, redo it anyway. So biggest thing is you need to make sure you get all of this old RTV off. So you can take yourself a gasket scraper, scrape it off, get most of it off. Um, some people even say get in a rag with some acetone, make sure it clears all the oil off. So you just need to make sure this surface is perfectly clean before we put RTV on it. We're going to be using Ultra Gray. Uh, just reading online, it sounds like that's kind of like the best stuff to use um, for uh, oil pans. And uh, you have to follow the instructions. The instructions say basically you're going to apply a four, uh, quarter inch bead around there, set the two pieces together, tighten it just enough where you can start seeing it ooze out of the sides, wait one hour, and then torque it to spec. And that's supposed to seal it. So um, I'll just be cleaning this up. We'll come back with the rest of the process. We've uh, prepped the mating surface for the <clears throat> lower oil pan. Um, what you see here is just um, a little bit of paint. Um, paint's okay to be on there as long as it's not gasket material. Um, then we've also prepped the upper oil pan. So this is what mates to the block right here. So you wanna prep both surfaces, uh, pop, top and bottom. Now this is aluminum. Um, so you need to be a little bit more careful, but the margin of error is much more forgiving because the gaskets that go on this are rubber and will expand and stuff. So we've prepped the top here. This will be go. This will be going against the block, and we've also prepped the bottom here. And this is what these two surfaces will mate. So um, I like using Purple Power. It's a really good cleaner degreaser. You gotta make sure you don't have any oil at all on it um, when you go to actually mate the surfaces. So um, I uh, got all the old gasket off. Um, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna spray these down really well with Purple Power and I'm gonna pressure wash them and that'll make sure I get all of this crap off. And uh, so that'll be what we do next and we'll be back after I've washed them and uh, getting ready to mate the two surfaces. We're gonna need to one more time Take a clean rag, wipe our surfaces off. Okay, should be completely clean. Okay, and we're going to be using uh, Ultra Gray. It's really good for parts that come in contact with oil, very oil resistant, and this is also what is recommended. So um, we have our oil pan bolts here. What I'm going to do, I have them in all in a baggie. I'm just going to spray a little bit of lubricant down in them. I'm just going to kind of toss them around. What that's going to do, it's going to make sure when we actually torque them, that they're reaching torque. They're not getting bound up on a little bit of dirt or something that may be in the, in the threads. And also it's going to protect them from rusting in case you get any liquid up in there. So we want to do a continuous bead. Um, we want to go on the inside of the bolt and then for extra protection um, as we come around a second time we'll go around the outside of the bolts as well. Not really necessary but it is what Permatex recommends. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we're going to <coughs> flip the cap around, pop a hole in that, screw our tip on. and cut off the tip size you want.
It's okay if you don't get a continuous bead, but it's good to it's good to start it. Now usually you want to start this on your weakest section. So if we were doing like a differential cover, you'd want to start at the top because that's where your brake will be, and so gravity will put the gear oil down. So in this case, it's going to be flat, so it doesn't really matter where we start. What we're looking for is that to start squeezing out. We don't want to torque them down all the way. We just want to see that it is squeezing out on all of our edges or all of our seams. Okay, we're going to wait one hour. And after that hour, we're going to go ahead and torque them to spec, which is 105 inch pounds. We're going to use the star pattern. So we'll come back. We've waited an hour. Now all we have to do is do the final torquing. Um, you can look it up online to see what the official pattern is, but if you just go under a, a basic star pattern, you're going to be fine. This isn't under really a lot of pressure or anything, so we're not worried about it being perfect. Um, so the torque spec is 105 inch pounds, so you need yourself a either quarter inch uh, torque wrench or other means. Set it to 205 inch pounds. And just do your star pattern. So that's it. I'm not going to record this whole thing because it's very simple. But we'll do a couple. This one, it's uh, pretty hard to click it or it's hard to hear it click, so usually you just kind of go by feel, and when you feel it release, that's when you know you've reached it. So I'm just going to do standard star pattern, um, and that's all there is to it. There's really nothing special about this, so I'm not going to be showing the whole thing. So This is the upper oil pan gasket. Uh, nothing real special here. Um, on this side, we're just going to put a couple bolts in place just to hold the gasket on. This is going to be the front. These are where your two studs go, so don't put bolts in there. It won't work. In just a sec, we're going to jump onto the underside and uh, put some uh, gray RTV in where the uh, timing chain cover in the rear is um, to seal that up. The four spots we're going to put in the gray RTV, it's pretty easy to see. It's basically where 
you have two pieces of metal mating. So there's four spots. Here's one, two, three. This is the front of the engine to orient yourself. So three and then four. Um, just put, it, put a bead kind of across there. that we're gonna do that on all four we'll pick up after that yeah we got our four beads of gray RTV on there next up we're gonna place the oil pan in place bolts in. We're going to wait one hour, do a uh, final torque of them. Final torque is uh, 12 foot-pounds. Um, just do a star pattern. I may or may not decide to even film that. There's nothing special about it. Just do a star pattern, just like anything else when you torque. Uh, 12 foot-pounds, wait an hour for your permatex gray to set up. That's it.